Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. <laughs> oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time we're going to have a go at painting this. This uh, pumpkin that I carved out and, uh, and I thought, oh, it looks cool. I'll paint that as it is, like that. I wouldn't be able to set it up like that because of it being lit up. But let's have a go at painting it. First things first, piece of chalk palette of a few paints, don't think I need very many. Uh, I've got some chrome yellow, ultramarine blue, burnt umber and alizarin crimson. No white because my lightest light will be yellow. And a piece of chalk, grayed out canvas, and an idea. <laughs> so I might put, put, blah, 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 put my pumpkin here. Go do them a bit bigger than the, the photo. Something like there. Keep them away from the edges. Sort of go right like that, doesn't he? Like that. And this side goes down a little bit more. Like so I'm going to have moonlight coming in here so this side is going to have a blue to it and then I've got the orange so let's do the eyes about there I think I really like the mouth actually <laughs> I drew, I drew it on, but I uh, slightly did it different to uh, my original idea. Something like that. Make sure I get this mouth up there. There, do the eye. And that should be like that, like this. Quite got that, have I? It's more like that. <coughs> but <coughs> something like that, anyway. <coughs> Doesn't have to be exactly the same, is it? As long as it represents the pumpkin. Hmm. That's not too bad. I'll try and get these cut areas and it's going to look more like the way I cut it out. Not sure why I did that there. The thickness of the pumpkin needs to be shown to remember to do that. And this mouth, it's kind of... You can see like the way that the yellow and the red looks really good. And then that looks like... Not sure how I'm going to paint these additions. I don't know if I need them, but we'll see. I mean, uh, Quite like the red the light that goes along this table. Well, it's actually on the oven. <laughs> I do like that. Um, but I think that'll do as my sketch. Looks all right. We can. Uh, where should we start? I might start with this. This dark brownie, brownie, orangey. <laughs> it's very brownie, I think. 
So I might get some chrome yellow and orange. Chrome yellow and orange. Chrome yellow and these are in crimson. I wonder if I put the brown in with it. That's a lot lighter than what that is, isn't it? So I think I'm going to need blue, crimson, blue and crimson, real dark, blue, crimson and brown. So we're darker than that now. Which could work. Which could work. A bit of yellow in it. Just a bit of yellow in it, and then we'll have another look. Too brown. It's too brown. Get more red in it. We're a lot closer now. It's a very um, dark reddish colour. And I think it'll do for my uh, initial bit. <laughs> and then I can uh, change things afterwards. It is pretty good. It's hard to uh, show it on camera. But really, we want a dull colour to make the eyes and the mouth stand out. And it's as simple as that, really, isn't it? I think we've got a nice colour here actually. It's going on well. Now we'll have to make a decision on whether I do the background black or or not. <laughs> There's nice Flick of orange at the top of this. So this is really blocking the colour, block it all in, and then uh, we can play around afterwards. Block it in, block it in. And don't forget, it's supposed to be. We're going to have some nice blue over here. Almost see this finished already, <laughs> so I know I know it's going to work. Because I can see it in my mind's eye. close with the mouth to the uh, eyes, have we? 
It's going to make this pumpkin a little bit different. But I just noticed that. Mm. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. I might do another one here, <laughs> a smaller one. Shall I? Let's get the chalk out. Let's do another one here. A baby one. One, shall I have it have similar sort of eyes? <laughs> I'll have this one going like that instead. <laughs> now nah, that looks weird. Now let's do let's do another smiling one. Quite a big stalk. Something like that. Let's give them the same colour. So I'm already looking forward to doing the orangey bits. <laughs> it's going to be fun, isn't it? Just put a little bit of the eye in there. Put the chalk on a little bit thick. Doesn't matter though, because you can mix it in with your colour. It just mixes away. See, chalk doesn't have a colour. And it's mixed with paint, that's why they use it for using uh, to thicken paint up because it just takes on the colour. Should have that have a little amount of that. Okay, so what should we do now? I think I'll do the uh, the maybe I'll do the yellow bit. Shall I do the reddish bit? No, I think I'll do the yellow bit. I just need to wipe a brush. <laughs> So, see what my alizarin, alizarin, my chrome yellow looks like in the uh, in comparison to the photo. It's pretty close to the uh, the yellow part, so I think I'll use pure color for this. So. Going on quite thick as well, because I want it to block out any of that grey. I 
It's one of the questions I had of someone recently actually. They were struggling to cover the background up and what I would say is just use more paint. Just use a bit more. And it'll cover it up. Even if you're using a transparent colour, if you're putting it on thick, you still can't see through it. Because <laughs> they're only semi-transparent anyway. What's that one? This one's got more yellow here. I actually prefer the painting than the pumpkin <laughs> I actually carved. It looks a little bit better. Okay. Some of this in here. A lot of this gets more to the red. We can uh, put some in. Now we've got these ones. Should we put the little eyes in or just have these? Just yellow. Just a little bit there as well. I'm just going to have them yellow. Oh, a little bumpkin. <laughs> mm. There we go. Now I want like an orangey colour and then a red. So what I need to do. Some of this crimson, a bit of yellow in. I can make our red, I think, just to be more yellow. That's not quite red enough. So I might bring in the big guns. <laughs> the official. Elizabeth Crimson rather than the phony one. And uh, see how that one looks. Might actually be the yellow that's uh, not good enough. Yeah, what we're getting is like a pale pink, which is all right for like this area here. That area is all right for this. It's sort of like a most middle, middle in colour, which which is good. Yeah, it is good, but <coughs> it's not quite what we want. It's uh, almost there. <laughs> I 
then we want to go a bit redder, you see. We might need Might, what we might need is a little bit of a uh, and crimson. <coughs> um, not laser and crimson, cadmium red. What about vermilion red? Let's have a look at the vermilion. Yeah, vermilion out of the tube. Is what we need. Just get rid of the paint off the brush so I don't yellow this colour. Vermilion red, we could use cadmium red, just need a strongish red. Straight out the tube, and we can uh, lose a paint. Oh, yes, it's more like it. Blend this bit together a bit. I can do the same. Just using my finger for this as well. Red here, there around this. It's sort of a weird top. Look there. I'm going to use brush strokes this way just to uh, make it come out a little bit.
kind of lost it a bit on the small one. <laughs> Didn't look quite as uh, quite right, so I need to bring that back. Slight change of plan there, just to get that sort of look about it. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's getting some dark. So remember that it is a pumpkin, and I did use a straight blade to. cleans things up a bit. Okay, not too bad. The little guy. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. What's happened, little guy? That's not too bad now. Maybe I should put the uh, eye in them as well. It does work a bit better, doesn't it? Okay, just sort of sit back, have a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a little bit of the yellowy colour in into my colour. See if I can get some shape. Yeah, so now I need to uh, use this brownie colour actually to put this in. There's a lot longer one there. Might as well. Different there. Uh, right, now I need to. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a. Bit of an orangey flick of colour there. Kind of lost it then, <laughs> went, went over it once too many times. There we go. <laughs> I might put one of them in there as well. Match up a little bit. I'll put a hint of more colour on this one as well. Do. 
See, I don't really want to lose too much of this darkness because that's what makes it look good. <laughs> um, what we need is some blue for the light, but I want this background to just vanish now, so I might. <coughs> Get some ivory black and get rid of the background. Well, what if I use the blue? What if I use the blue? That would look pretty cool, actually. So I've got my dirty brush into some blue. that edge has sort of disappeared a bit but I don't mind to be honest But if you've never painted a pumpkin before and you're watching this thinking, oh, that's easier than I thought. <laughs> as well do one and you should. You could do this in acrylics as well. Oils or acrylics, it work the same really. I know I tend to do mine in oils but it's just because I'm used to this medium. I've been using it a long time so you get used to your mediums. But you could easily do this in acrylic. matter how you get the painting on the canvas does it as long as you've got colour there dark you get on here, the more light you get on your pumpkin. <laughs> so your pumpkin isn't, isn't going to light up if everything else, I'm going to shorten that, I don't like it, it makes it look too apple-like. Um, if you you want a light area in a painting, you really need the rest to be dark. It's as simple as that, you know. And uh, You can't get light on light, you have to have dark. It's like when you go into a room and it's dark, you can put the light on and then if your light is shining on a chair, that chair shines out looking fantastic. It's the same with, same with painting. If you want something to light up, there's a lot of dark around it, and that will make it light up. It's 
some someone's out there thinking, I could do this on a black canvas. I wouldn't, I'd use less paint then. <laughs> A good idea. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it. But no, it's worked. It's worked out quite well the way it has. Yeah, I just want to get this shape a little bit better. Now I can get my bit of light on here, and then uh, I'm, I'm thinking I need a bit of white. <laughs> How am I going to make some light blue for moonlight if I don't have any light? Just get a tiny bit of white. So we're imagining we've got a moon shining this way. And uh, it's the moonlight. The moonlight is like hitting this one side, so blue or white. Depending on how bright you want it, the more white you put in. So we'll have our moon it's coming in this way, so it's gonna hit maybe there. There, just to gives it a bit of an outline. And on this one as well. It might even break into the next part of the pumpkin. I don't want to go overboard with the uh, the blue. Just do that. Just that sort of hint. It's, the, the light is hitting. I might go a little bit brighter because it kind of disappears a bit. We could. <laughs> we could think, well, what if that light, that moonlight, is bouncing off some other light over here? And it's, uh, maybe there's a fire on or something. And, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. And then uh, it bounces back, and you get a bit of a crimson. It's hitting this one side. Some light just coming over from there and just going doosh. And it's just hitting this side and it's hitting that side. And then maybe, maybe the light from this is hitting the ground here and uh, there's a bit of a light hitting along there and then this one as well it's doing the same thing it's just hitting that edge of edge of the table and it's uh, lighting it up I want a bit more light there there we go that's better So yeah, I think it will call this one uh, finished. Maybe the light from this as well, it's here. Like that. A little bit. Light 
lighten that up a bit. Well, there we go. I think I'll call that one. Um, I enjoyed doing that actually. <laughs> Quite good fun doing pumpkin paintings. Get some light in the, into your uh, painting. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. And you could do all kinds of things. You could put spider webs in there and all sorts. Um, it's up to you how far you want to take it. But for me, I think I'll call this one finished. Finished. Although I can see like areas that like I want to put a bit more, you know, a bit more red. Maybe a bit more red there. there. <laughs> it's finished, it's finished. Come on Jason, let's finish now. Always always taking it a bit further, always taking it a bit further. Come on, let's call it a day. Yeah, let's call it a day. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks very much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas on how to paint a pumpkin at night. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> Cheers, bye.